So here we are. Oh, it's a historic day for Jimmy Puma. Fantasy Football League. Dynasty League, I guess, would be probably a better word to use for it. Today is May 15th, 2011. Uh, the start of the 2011 fantasy football year. Uh, big day for the expansion teams. A huge day. Uh, they're finally going to have an identity. We're going to hopefully find out some team names. Uh, we're going to find out the draft order. And we're going to find out a lot of things today. Now, it's been... Uh, quite a while since I've talked to Cooch, being that he's not much of an off-season guy, and I'm all about the off-season, because if you don't have the off-season, you don't have the season, and without the season, you can't have an off-season, and without the off-season, there's just no season, and uh, I haven't talked to him. I'm headed over to uh, his house now. Uh, it's 5 o'clock. And I'm hoping he's home, and I'm going to just bust in and get him up and get him out. Probably hasn't shaved for months. My guess is he's probably sleeping. And uh, we're going to see what happens when we get there. And uh, hopefully Cooch will be prepared for the season, because he's got to figure out that the offseason is the biggest part of the season, and the season is the biggest part of the offseason. All right, we got the Cooches. Who knows if he's awake? It's been a while. I'm gonna bang on the door and just go busting in. We'll see what happens. Cooch! 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 Winner's over! Winner's over! Winner's over? I told you, there's no off season without a season. Oh man! High life. High life. It's time to go to the draft. Woo! It's time to give identities to Bam, O and O, and the Yao Mingleberries. Mingleberries. They took all the free agents. Those bastards. <laughs> so we just showed up at the destination, Corey's Playhouse or whatever the hell it is. It's freaking right next to a stinking gun shop. Bill's gun shop. We saw like fucking three black guys yelling Michael Vick slang at Cooch because he's got his Vick jersey on. This is a setup. Oh, the governor. This is a setup, Corey. Bill's here. We just found him in the parking lot. He survived Bill's gun fucking shop over there. Yeah, I got a little lost actually my way over here. I was doing my 18th uh, mock draft for this thing to see exactly where I'm going to be drafting in the first round. I think my odds of getting Mark Ingram are pretty slim, uh, as well as getting Michael Leeshore and uh, A.J. Green. But I hope everyone blows their uh, wad on all the players today and we can have a good time. Can you flex real quick for us? Yeah, right there. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. Thank you. Four or three, I'm sorry, we got live coverage of the draft right now going. I don't care. He's on the phone discussing, he's discussing which pick he's going to go with. He yeah. says we love you at the end, we know we're in trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Live coverage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't get any better than this. Okay. You want to come to the yeah. team war room? All right. Sounds good. Uh, hey. Seriousness. Did it end then? <laughs> that was the fun one. one. Yeah. Alright, hold on. Everybody has to decide where they want. Jordan, yeah. Yeah. Do you want second or do you want third? <laughs> Number one, one pick. Number one, baby. You're second. I pick a second. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bump with the time again. Risky. Two minutes. Two thousand eleven. JPFFL expansion draft. Yeah, Owen Owens gonna go with Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson, fifteen dollars. Andre Johnson, first, first pick ever expansion pick. in the first ever expansion one, draft one. for Jimmy Puma. We're gonna go live in the war room of uh, Budweiser Alta Machachos. <laughs> We're going directly to the yeah. war room right now. Yeah, it's pretty simple. We're in the war room. It's pretty simple. Yeah, huh? we got a little spreadsheet. Yeah. Yep. This is great. Bam does not want to be a loser. He wants to be a winner. I will win. 
Team Money. Team Money. I think uh, Eureka's probably to come out here with the top uh, draft. He's got some sneaky things uh, ace and right up his sleeve. We're going to see some funky things out of him. Real traditional from Bubba, real traditional from Alola. And uh, Ozzy's probably going to go for the older guys. And he's going to be coming away with the oldest team in the draft. So. so, first shock of the draft? I'm shocked, but you know, it shows me that Bubba's serious about playing dynasty football. He knows we're not in a redraft league, and he cares about winning. They have an identity, which is huge. Owen O just took wraparound Manning and Wayne. Big dollars, but could be huge. We have, uh, we have $13 left. What do you think, Coach? I think that was one of the smartest plays uh, in this draft so far. But the uh, muchachos uh, fucked up their fucking old draft, dude. We'll see them in like seven years to be in near any of them. Are you going to build the running back up? I could just fucking house it running backs right now. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, I got fresh info from Budweiser out to muchachos. They're thinking about loading up on running backs. The quarterbacks are gone. <laughs> And I really like the running backs that are the kids, the, the kids are young Lenny Musil. That's what he reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, quick one on one on that Garcon decision there with We're trying to hedge your bets, you know, going with the easy schedule. Uh, we like Manny's gonna sign a big deal here in the offseason, extend his contract and just what we saw last year. So can you can you say that you might be looking to move Reggie Wayne possibly within the next two years? He's definitely yeah, he's definitely trade bait. Perfect. So, you know, but uh, cause we like where Garcon's at on the other side of Reggie Wayne. And Collie, we don't know about him or Gonzalez. He's been hurt. So, so he's going to have to go with people that are going to be able to play every day. So how do you feel about everything right now? I feel really good. Uh, do you think Ono yeah. has an identity now? Uh, well, we're probably being known as the Colts right now, but <laughs> we're ready to mix and mingle a When are you bit. guys going to announce team name? Uh, it's coming up So soon. we're late in the rounds. Uh, Ono o are done. They've filled their salary. Oz is done. He went cheap. Four guys. So now we're left to Bam. And Yao Mingo Marys. I'll take a lot for What's your analysis? Uh, I think uh, O&O put themselves in a win-now situation. They're saying, we want to come in, we want to win the Puma Cup right away. And just let guys know. And then, you know what, then they'll rebuild after they win the Puma Cup. Bubba, uh, pretty much masterminded a brilliant strategy of grabbing 23, 22-year-old guys. And he's got a lot of talent on his roster. You know, like Bubba grew up next door to me. I'm not surprised. I think it rubbed off. Uh, yeah, what, was they, they what was the nickname? What was the nickname? Salt and pepper. Salt. And it looks like we're salt and salt.